Suilad Ennis, Imam Carlos, Ah Hani Kingdoms, Ilasin Nerdui, Lord Turtru. We are excited to bring you our first of many episodes of the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth Commander games. If you enjoy our shows, consider supporting us by becoming a member of the kingdom. For only $2 a month or $20 a year, you get access to our private discord, extra giveaways, monthly game days, deck help, and a bunch more. Check out our updated tiers now at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV or become a member here on YouTube. On top of an amazing game today, we are also doing a giveaway. The giveaway is for a brand new Lord of the Rings bundle. The first way to win is for subscribers. All you have to do is like this video and comment on the video what commander you're most excited to build from the new Lord of the Rings set. Second, you can follow us on Twitter, then like, retweet, and tag two of your friends on the giveaway tweet. And third, you can follow us over on our new TikTok and then like and comment who has the best dance moves out of the fellowship. This giveaway is void where prohibited, and we will be announcing the winner one week from when this video is released. Good luck! As Gandalf says, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. So thanks for watching and enjoy the episode. Hi, I'm Jeff Bell, and I'm playing Gandalf the White. This deck is a really fun deck in the fact that I'm playing a lot of legendary creatures and artifacts. I'm trying to enter the battlefield, get abilities to trigger, or even leave the battlefield and get abilities to trigger and get some additional value off of them. So I've got a good amount of legendary creatures and a lot of artifacts and some cool artifact sacrificing sub themes going on, along with the blinking theme going on to try and also get those effects to go. So we should just see a lot of blinking and entering and leaving of cool people and cool artifacts. Hey everyone, it's Carlos and I am playing Frodo Sauron's Bane. And this is more of an actually like a bad boy uh, Frodo deck where I have all nine Nazgul and we're really just trying to tempt myself as quick as possible. And then uh, look to have protection or ways for Frodo to get through and just make people lose the game. I always have a fun time playing cards or decks that say people lose or you win. I don't think those are a fun like extra side game. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Jason S. I'm playing Sauron the Dark Lord. This deck is just like like Grixis bad guys. It's fun. Sauron does amazing things with rings and orcs and it's gonna be great. <clears throat> Hopefully not get stabbed in the back by little hobbitses. All right, everyone, I'm John. I'm playing Legolas Master Archer. Legolas uh, is my absolute favorite character from Lord of the Rings. My first D&D character was an elvish archer, and so Legolas was absolutely the coolest thing I'd ever seen when I saw all the movies. So I had to build them super excited, just try and shoot everything, just pew pew, and I don't know how I'm gonna win, but it'll be fun. Are we ready to roll? Let's roll. Okay. Let her rip. Eight? Eight. Seven. Nine? Nine wins. You're the worst. <laughs> You're, the worst. You're the opposite of Batman. Superman? No, it's just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drop a turn. Uh, play a planes, tap that, and play a chromatic star to start me off and say go, Carlos. Draw for turn. Vault of Champions. Ooh, I'll be your and uh, I'll play a commander. Ew. Frodo Sauron's Bane. One, two. <clears throat> I feel attacked. He's just a halfling citizen. My Best turn, turn yep. And tap draw. I'm going to play the Badlands. And I'll pass. Draw. Play uh, Basaju. That's fair. And uh, Soul Ring. That's not. And Elvish. Ooh, Elvish Soul Ring. Some form of Elvish. I can't read it. And then I'll play Ring of Bah Barahir, also known as Sword of the Animus. All right, untap, upkeep, draw. <clears throat> I'm going to tap this, sacrifice it for a white mana, draw a card, play a planes, pay one more, and play out a prized statue. When there's the battlefield, I get to create a treasure token. Also, when it goes to the graveyard, I get a treasure token as well. You can go, card. Untap, draw, Shizo, Death Storehouse. Let's attack Legolas. Okay. Lortho or Lotho, and every time Anyone. a player casts the second spell each turn, Yikes. I lose one life and I create a treasure token. Uh, pass turn. Untap draw, and then I'm gonna play the card that matches my play mat. <laughs> the Dead Mashes. Otherwise known as Urborg, Tomb of Yagmoth. <laughs> Cast an Arcane <clears throat> Signet, and I will pass. Let's untap and draw. So I'm gonna play uh, Lanawar Reborn. It has graft. <laughs> he is a plus one plus one counter armor. And I will go ahead and cast a Mana Gorger Hydra. Is that his second? No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, first no. spell. Go ahead. It's just the graft. Um, tap, draw. No, you're not grafting? No. I'm going to do two spells, so it's going to be bad here. 
I get a treasure. Bro, don't feed the beast. Oh, it's definitely feeding the beast. Play a planes to start us off with though. Uh, play Simplin's Anvil and imprint Meteor Golem. A creature artifact. How many cards do you have left? Four right now? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're on our way. What's he gonna do, draw? <laughs> but yeah, my, my no, you're right, actually, I can wait. So yeah, go, I'll do that. You cast a spell, thank you. I did cast one spell, I'm not gonna cast two though. Oh, coward. Uh, untap, draw a card. Let me play this Swamp Tainted Fields. I'm gonna do Forge Anew. If it's your turn, you can equip as an instant. I'm That's probably cool. not blocking, so let's send Jeff. You're already basically at like six mana, seven mana next turn. Probably. So let's go three of you. That's fair. I'm done. Okay. <clears throat> and tab. Yeah. The message has been sent. Draw. <laughs> I'm going to cast a Rhystic Study. Sauron's going to school. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I am not Rhystic playing. Study? Ew. The Sage Gross. Gross. I'll play a Smoldering Marsh, and then I'll pass the turn. Cool. Say it's a march. Get out. Yeah, with the joke has been heard. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Straight. Okay. I put it in the deck because of that. I'm going to go with an evolution sage. Gross. Would you like to play one? Um, no. And then I will play Valley of Gorgoroth. And then I will equip Sword of the Animist. Ring of Barahir. We're dead. And send seven at Rhystic Study. <laughs> well, it wasn't me at least, so I don't care. Yeah. Uh, attack trigger. Attack trigger. <laughs> you need to get some plus one plus one counters. Land. That literally just looks black for me. <laughs> <laughs> is that a swamp? It's, it's it a is forest. a swamp. You're it's not wrong. Forest. I'm going to proliferate because the land happened. And then you take eight. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Mana Gorge Hydra, try, I mean, just gonna be the commander. Yeah. Um, is that one of the oil slick tap? ones? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. draw. <laughs> cast a spell. I'm gonna cast my commander and get off the white. Would you like to play one? Uh, no. <laughs> I will sacrifice my treasure for a white mana and then play Lorne of the Third Path. Yo! Trigger, trigger. I want a treasure. <clears throat> trigger. Oh, I'm gonna draw. Let's start this off though. In the battlefield, destroy up to one target artifact enchantment. I get two of those triggers, though. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to blow up. I don't care. <laughs> you can hit anything that I have if you, as long as you get rid of Rhystic Study. Uh, we're going to get rid of Rhystic Study? No. And Price Statue. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I think that's the best way to do it. up off this cast. Exactly. Sure, go. Let's untap. Draw a card. Swamp Swamp. Three mana for a Sword of Fire and Ice that I got from John. Go. Counter up. Yep. Attempt a free equip. Now I will play Reconnaissance. His life, get a second treasure. So I will go at doors open, J Jason. You're open for business, buddy. <laughs> Dilly Witten. Who's pro red, pro blue? They're white and green. All right, so you are equipping? Well. I mean, I'm not going to block. Okay, then I'll cut. Three to you. I draw a card. And deal two damage to Lauren of the third pass. Are you going to come at me if I don't kill your sage? I will not attack you if you leave my sage alone. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's all they need here. Reconnaissance <laughs> trigger. Or end of Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pseudo vigilance. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Tap draw. <laughs> I have four friends. <laughs> Rexian Tower. Bob Anna. Oh, no. Witch King of Angmar. He's just, a, he's just a five three. Indestructible ish, sometimes blocker. Go ahead. That's Rattles pretty bad for me, actually. If you hit me, you have to sacrifice one of the creatures that hit me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and play Legolas. Get a counter, and I will graft onto Legolas. Go to combat, and I will swing a Hydra at Jeff. Well, um, what are we looking at? <laughs> so I'm gonna arbitrarily really large, arbitrarily really large. Go get a uh, fourteen. I think it's another 14. forest here. For fourteen. Fourteen. F fifteen. You're right. Fifteen. On top, upkeep, draw. Well, I'm gonna put a blocker out there that will hopefully pay off dividends. Hello to my sky dragon. I think that's it. Go, Carlos. Draw. Mox Amber. It's cast. Dun 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 dun. The first Nazgul. Nazgul! <laughs> I'm the Nazgul deck. Screech. <laughs> All right, I get Skull. Who's your uh, ring bearer? Frodo. Shut the package. Do you need a, a ring a ring bearer? It's quite cool. And I get a counter. So you can attack me, and I can't block. <laughs> and I lose a life and get a third I mean, I treasure. wouldn't be tempted, but... Yeah, let's send... I think you're the scariest still, other than the Hydra. And then this time you can shoot the like, Evolution Sage, and then you can have free attacks on John. No, I don't want the Hydra to come over here. But he won't, probably. <laughs> what a probably. same deal? What the crap is this? Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little turn-by-turn -turn deal. Okay, so I'm taking three. Um, 
I think I'm gonna level up actually, so it'll be one extra. Oh, this doesn't have skulk, so you can block this. Yeah, I, it is those attacking. I'll definitely block that. I don't have a reason not right, to. Right, right, Four damage, two damage to your face. No, there's nothing else to do. Evolution Sage there. is a great target. Card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it Castle or no, I don't actually own a planes. Oh, and um, before that, actually, I'm unequipping, or after damage is dealt, throwing Frodo out of combat there. Oh, and I have lifelink, I think, now. It was relevant. That's all. I'm done. Tap. If you can take Raw. care of the Witch King, then I would not try and kill you. How many cards in your graveyard, John? <laughs> Zero. You have nothing? Nothing bad has happened to me. <laughs> Second turn, <laughs> mana guard. Oh, is it really, oh, really, 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 it's just like that my life is so low at this point, though. Like, I really, he can kill me on his turn, I'm pretty sure. If I was playing Sauron, maybe I would just say, you know, yep, I'm a bad guy. I don't follow deals. <laughs> <laughs> Take 20, but... I'm going to play Baradur in uh, Inner Battlefield Tab unless you control Legendary. Like control Legendary. And Double X, Black, Tap, a Mass Orcs, X. I can only do it if a creature died this turn. You doing it? You no, do I'm casting a Mana Rock because I don't have mana, John. Okay. None of you want to do this. I have to do it myself. Array of Orcs. What does that mean? It shoots... The freaking sage is what it does. <laughs> I make a two-two orc army and hit him for two. If any deck has a giant girl, yeah, it's it's, 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 it's Ranger's deck. Guile. No way. <laughs> Which actually I think counters your spell because it now is hexproof. It, 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 it maxes two. It maxes two first. Okay. As a period. When I do, then it deals like oh, damage cool. to creature All right. controls. Yeah. If it has a period, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a four-three hexproof evolution sage. You'll never have another chance to That's hit it for exactly two. Exactly. Yeah. All right. My turn. Yep. Let's play a Sword of Truth and Justice. I'm gonna equip Sword of Truth and Justice to the Hydra. Oh, I'm dead. Legola I'm dead. Legolas. I'm dead. <laughs> you have a decision to make that I always hate. Which is, do I just try to take Jeff someone out? Early. And it's a little bit sad, but the downside is Jeff someone's just go gonna kill food. it. Oh. And oh. you might feel bad. <laughs> as long, if you won't feel bad if someone kills it and you didn't kill someone, then I that's don't. fine. Like I don't want to be forced into killing Jeff because I'm bored. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna also cast Shaper's Sanctuary. Whenever a creature <laughs> sure. I control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, I can draw a card. All right, I'm gonna attack Jeff with Legolas. Okay. Five, eight protection from white there and blue. Is. You're not even attacking with the Hydra. I know, I'm leaving the Hydra back. Wow. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Evolution Sage. Oh, I didn't attack with that, whatever. Oh, so now I can start proliferating his own Sage now. That's correct. <laughs> so throw a counter there and then I'll proliferate. Post combat, I'll play a land. Um, proliferate again. again. Proliferate again. There's some stuff over there you can proliferate, just saying. Or that. Uh, yeah, you sure. can proliferate the orcs. You said sure, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm not doing yeah, that. That's right, wait, go that way. Go <laughs> that way. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Let's go. I, I'm done. Safest is a horrible mistake. That uh, made. I don't know what's going to be. I'll take uh, AO and his vigilance, though, uh, to uh, the Witch King. What's his power? Five. Five. Flyer. Yeah. No block, he dies. I had to get tempted. I'll make the, the Witch King. You would give the ring to the horse. <laughs> yeah! That's the worst idea ever. That's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, they can spell yes. through your army. <laughs> All right, so I get to look at four, two, or You're seven. seven. Okay, so I'm going to choose Lauren of Disciple of History. Okay. When Lauren of Disciple of History or another legendary creature enters the battlefield under my control, return target artifact from my graveyard to my hand. Right. But I get to do this twice, and I get to do the AO thing, though. So I get to re return chromatic star and prize statue to my hand and then i get to do the ao thing again all right i'm gonna do these two cards though and Water. it's gonna be flowering of the white tree and mindstone nice. all legendary creatures i control get plus two plus one and have ward one so the first one i'm gonna start with for free is my prize statue i'm gonna do my second cast for turn which is chromatic star get a treasure myself hey one to get myself a white mana back though Sacrificing star. this though, no, which will let me draw two stuff, cards, so. and then I will play a land for turn two. Yep. Um, and then I'm gonna use that one white mana though to uh. cast Samwise the Stout Hearted. It says when he enters the battlefield, uh, choose up to one target permit in my graveyard. I'll put there this turn uh. and return it to the battlefield. Uh. And then the ring tempts me. Told you. And I'm gonna return this chromatic star and this sky dragon that was just <laughs> put there this turn. All right, you're dead next turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I made a mistake. Let's draw more cards. 
But I know it's going to make my ring bear too. My ring bear is going to be my sky dragon. It'll die. But then Sam will come back care. and then yeah, make another ring bear. Don't, 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 don't just have Yandalf be the ring bear. Whoa, flavor fail. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so sacrifice team. This is where I tempt me further. Anyway, so correct start. Drawing two, by the way. We we got him. Oh, yeah, I'll use the one for that to sacrifice my stone. I only draw one, though. And I'll play out a jeweled lotus because it's just in my hand, chilling there. Go, Carlos. Draw for turn. Play some more Nazgul. Get rid of the treasure. <laughs> yeah, I think I go with John because John needs to kill uh, everyone else. <laughs> Jeff. I want to, yeah, uh, no blocks. So you're not gonna block this guy? Oh, sure, I'll block that guy with uh, the. Right, right, right. Okay. I will level up. So I am at the third state. No, oh, so I missed the draw discard. Draw discard. I'll discard that Chromox because it was worthless. Okay, now I deal damage. And because I don't have four times, I will tempt. So you take seven, eight. Draw, deal two damage. Two to you. Oh, wait, can this die? Yeah, I can. Let's kill that. Sure. Just lose the game. <laughs> what? No, it's just John, John will kill us both. It's easier. You done? All will love me and <laughs> despair. <laughs> you have not passed the test. You will not fail him to the test. I will play this. I lose a treasure. Then I gain a treasure and lose a life. And we'll play a Marshlats. And small. just be sad that I got what I wanted and got all these lands. My turn. I'll pass. You've done it. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Oh, it's the most powerful card in my deck. Is it a land? Yes, it tilts Carlos. <laughs> it's a red island <laughs> with white borders. Uh, <laughs> border a hole. Cast my commander. If, if, are you done? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, great. What? We're not dead yet. I can see the future. Yeah, everyone's the, dead? I have the plant here, right here. Cast a Primal Vigor. Everything gets double plus one plus one counters and double tokens. I will play Nykthos and proliferate up double. All right, we're coming in. Both of these are coming in at Jeff. Attack trigger from Ring of Bahir. Go get a forest. The, this force is old. Counter is very, very old. old. And then I'll you have proliferate to. up. All lose. It's time for the calling. Yeah. Of the One Ring. <gasps> You don't have to face protection. Uh, but no, but when it enters the battlefield, I gain protection from everything until the, uh, until my next turn. No way. It actually has relevant text. All right, we'll go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I'm away. not done. At the end of your turn, I'm going to cast Elshorn. I get two treasures before Lotho dies. No, well, it's not Cinnabite. This is uh, Mother of Machines, by the way. It's, it's quad. Is that my, is that, is is my like Gandalf Panamar, Yeah, too. it's my Panharmonic. Gandalf 0.5. Yep. Gandalf's mom. <laughs> Gandalf's mom. <laughs> but when it does trigger, though, it's going to trigger Lauren, though, so I get to return two artifacts, by the way, to my graveyard to my hand. My Mind Stone and my Chromatic Star. All right, so uh, I put a burn counter on that, though, and I draw a card, though, but I still have to your turn. And so I get to untap. And I have to lose some life, though. Actually, I have to lose one life now. Because the ring is heavy, Sam. Okay, so draw for turn. I'm going to play a planes for turn. We'll start with the land. I'm going to play the might stone and meek stone. And so I can kill a bunch of things. I got to draw, draw a bunch of cards. You can make the hydra get minus 20, minus 20. <laughs> so which king can only be killed through that fashion? I'm going to get a what counter on my army. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, two choose counters. one. Draw two cards oh, or target right. creature gets negative five, negative five until end of turn. <laughs> I don't know if you care about anything. <laughs> thanks, thanks. In buddy. play? I'm going to I'm gonna sacrifice my AO. Yeah, I, I was going to say, it, kill all your own technically, stuff. you could target Sauron and use the ward cost to, as a Sack how what? You but, sacrifice uh, a legendary artifact or a legendary still has creature. One left though, it doesn't kill him. I think I'm just gonna draw four and then that's like your whole deck. And then just sacrifice then AO is what I'm gonna do. Shoot AO Stay. and then draw four as well. Whatever. I'll draw the four first and then have AO's trigger go. And then that goes. And then I will get double triggers from AO though. For the first AO yeah, trigger, it's, it's gonna be Ashnod's altar. That is a whiff. Yeah. I'm gonna start emptying my hand really quickly because I just need to get stuff out of my hand though. By okay. So chromatic star, yay, mind stone, yay, and then this is triggers for you guys, by the way, for those things that you care about. Lunch. And lightning greaves. These hills are swarming with orcs! I'm supposed to have more counters. For pity's sake. Okay, so I have to pay three, play a lumbering battlement. When I was about to, I get to exile a number of target creatures with it until it leaves the battlefield. So yep. I'm gonna exile Samwise. And In response, I'll exile Samwise. <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice the Mirror of Bardment for two colorless. I'm gonna use one of those colorless to turn it into a white though. Then I gotta draw two cards. I'll use the colorless, play Circuit Mender, which 18. gets me to gain six life. 
I will sacrifice it for two colorless. I get to draw two cards now. Gandalf, put another burden counter on you and draw another two cards. Good. These three, play Sabine's Reclamation. That's it. There's nothing I can do against Sabine's uh, Reclamation. No, counter. He doesn't have any more white mana. Oh, wait, he doesn't have any more white mana? No, no. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm going to counter that. I had to sacrifice uh, 20 power of orcs, but uh, let's do this. Sacrifice at the Phyrexian Tower. Oh, no, I don't need to. I did my math wrong. Drown in the Lot. Counter it if you have more than three cards in your graveyard. Okay, play my Moonstone Silver. Use one colorless from here. Sacrifice it. Belt. So we're going to go get Arcane Signets, and I'm going to cast that. I'm going to sacrifice Elish Mom to get two more colorless. I'm going to tap this for one more, and this for the white to play out Leziel's Acrobatics. 16. So we can do it twice and with my next instep. So I get to do it once. So they enter the battlefield. So this is going to trigger four times then. So I get to turn artifacts. So I get moon silver key, circuit mender, chromatic star back to my hand. Cast them for free. I'm going to exile back out for right now. Uh, replay chromatic star and Sugar moon there. silver. I still have one colorless from this that I haven't used for from when I did the key. So which I'll actually use it on the key again to go get a silver this time. So I'm going to tap this. Sacrifice this, draw a card, get a white pip, use the one other colors from Soaring to play Circuit Mender for turn, gain three more, uh, two more life. Go to end step and put them back into play and return. Well, trigger on the stack. You should sack your creature. No, I'll keep it a block. I'm gonna okay. sack this. I, I want them on the okay. All right, never field mind. anyway, so it's fine. Oh, but you can cast it with instant speed. Oh yeah, so I guess I could sacrifice get two it. Two colorless in your end step. And get it cards. back. Get two colorless. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And even Sacrifice if you just like, replay it right away. We'll and it. then these trigger, I can return to four, which well, is cost three. Two less, too. Can return these three, though. I have two colorless. Does it now. draw you cards when you. Uh, when it dies? Yeah. When it dies, so draw some cards. Weird replay that with one. Play that for free. Play that for free. Like uh, and then use wheel. the other one colorless to sacrifice that to draw two. Please draw a middle. <laughs> All right, I'll use the one white that I got from the chromatic start to, re to play a sky scanner, cast. which draws two. I'm going to marsh flats while you're waiting. All right, we're going to sacrifice these three, but I'll do them in an order. So I'll sacrifice these two first, and triggers. I'll get the double draw triggers off of that. I'll sacrifice Gandalf, and then I'll use, which gives me six colorless. Yep. I use one well, of- You have four colorless? Six, because I had two creatures. From his, oh, there's a second creature. Yeah. Okay. Six colorless. I'll use one of the colorless. Command zone? Uh, yes, command zone. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's sacrifice this, and then I can replay Gandalf. And then I use one of the colorless, though, to sacrifice this, though, to go get this. Yeah. So just so we can try to complete this. I'm going to sacrifice Lorne, then. Okay. Five colorless. I'll use four of it to cast Coveted Jewel. Okay, one colorless. 44. And there's Valfell, I get to draw six cards. I'll start with Icar Wellspring to draw oh, two more cards. Great. I wonder how we could have avoided this. If only there was a way. <laughs> only there was a path. But we oh, all man. didn't see. <laughs> It'll be fine. You can have one more turn. He's got three lands. <laughs> uh, use one of the colors of the pet. Okay, I'm going. Go for it. Untap. Upkeep, draw. I could have just blocked it. What? That is stupid. I got the one ring. Use it. It doesn't tap. It's worthless. Oh, I could still draw a card from this. Uh -huh. Yeah. There we go. Let's give it a exactly. shot. Exactly. Yeah. There, there's one, value. two. I got pro everything. I'll draw my cards. I will attack you, Jeff. I have a four, five, and a five, six Nazgul, and a two, one, and a four, five Frodo that has Skulk Lifelink. Skulk Lifelink. And I know. Oh, I draw and discard. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, it's too late to play Nazgul or anything, though. You can discard your land. I do get to discard this land, though. No. Actually, discarding the Felwar Stone is not just the same at this point. I can play land for my turn. Whatever. Give me that jewel. Yeah, it's just I really want to play I'm, another Nazgul. I, you draw three cards too. No, I, take, you're taking all the damage. I can't really do much until my next turn is the real thing. Oh, and I didn't play as well, like I said. Uh, I'll put Gandalf <laughs> on low fall, which I'm sure you're just going to remove from combat anyways, though. All right, you you get 13 damage. Carlos draws three cards. Yep. Trigger Frodo. Have, but now I'm at stage four. You guys could die to Frodo. Uh, also trigger Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, two more counters on each of these. I'm going to draw three cards, I guess. We'll trigger this last. And then two damage. Anything that's two toughness or less. Two to Jason's face. I'll draw. 
gain a four life. Forms Isolated chapel. Land return. So I will play a second spell. Another wraith. Wraiths of ring. So I'm tempted, um, but this goes up to ten now. Fifty-two. This goes up to nine, and this goes up to three. Oh, that's not even primal vigoring. Crap! That means I get another. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Because they get one per Nazgul. Whenever a ring tempts you, put up one counter on each wraith you control. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I was saying. They should drop each other, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I misread that, so they so, were much better than I thought. So e earlier, these should get another two. And then another three. three and then this is another five. <laughs> another Frodo. Here's the question I have. As long as your turn pre prevent all damage that would be dealt to Frodo, period. Frodo. It Frodo. just references, it's the card name. It doesn't say that. It just says Frodo. I know. This it's, name oh is Frodo. Nope. Uh, no. I'll pass. Okay. You can draw. What? Not drawing? <laughs> okay. Oh, this, that's what. Did I tap mana? I was going to use this. Oh, that's uh, so cool. Play Arid Mace, huh? Crack it. I'm going to cast the Scroll of a Sealed Door. Gain control of target Sword of Fire and Ice for as long as I control the Scroll of a Sealed Door. And the ring tempts me. And now I'll attach it to Witch King. I'm going to go to combat. Attacking Jeff with the Witch King. All right, do your thing. You yeah, attack his face. I'm, I'm sacrificing Cathodian. Yeah. To get me eight mana, which sure. is a lot. Why not? I'll use five of the eight to play Spine of Ishtar. He's casting something. And that will get me double triggers. And the ring I'm going to target the Witch King and Sauron. You have to sacrifice Wait, why him. not the mana go Jahindra? You're going to pay the ward cost? Wait. That will kill you for sure. That's well, the sure. Witch King's already going to kill Witch King's going to kill him. Oh. Nice. I, this, is, this is a somewhat of a spite play as well, I'll say. I'm going to sacrifice the one ring, though. That's fine. Which is semi thematic, by the way. For, yeah, for and then I will discard the Watcher in the Water to make my Witch King of Angmar indestructible. Cool. So I'll hit you. Seven. It'll be seven. And then I'll shoot him for two. I will draw off of Sword. That's really what I wanted. Cast the fires of Mount Doom. When the airs of the battlefield deals two damage to target creature and opponent controls, destroy all equipment attached to that creature. Cool. I'll deal two damage to Legolas. I'll pass. Uh, untap. And draw. <laughs> so I'm gonna play a Moss War Bridge and dig up. And I will go see what my hideaway is. I hope John wins. What? You're, you're and then gross. I will attack Jason <gasps> with a creature and trigger sword. I get another land. All right, Jason. Are you a dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, He's gonna hit me for 100 points. A clean 100, 100, Mana Gorger Hydra. I will not block. All right, Carlos. Your sword is now yours. Can dead. you just take Frodo? Don't. Yeah, this is exactly I have uh, nothing. That's stupid. It is stupid. Okay. Um, we can't, then why we can't didn't you kill him? me? I couldn't kill you. You were protection from everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's I forgot about that. I, well, I thought. Oh, you mean this way? His permits were. His permits weren't, but he was. I, was. I, I drew a land. Oh, yeah, I have no yeah, cards yeah, in right. here. Oh, I have. I, well, I just, um, you just had to get one thing to uh, do. Yeah, I, I have nothing. All right, this is very unexpected. End of turn. I'll get a one-one human for fun, and it takes. You me... get two one-one humans. It takes me two treasures. Um, untapped. Drew a card. Why is everyone unhappy from I'm this? Pretty game? happy, yes. <laughs> All right, just kill me. I'm All right, I'm, no, just go to combat and All attack. Right. I'll, I'll swing everything at you. Okay, great. I take it and lose to the ring. And Frodo win. What? I. Uh, but honestly, just like I the just movie, lose guys. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frodo wins, but, and it's bullshit. But here's the thing. <laughs> I did get a path to exile for the, the, the hydra. Nice. So. Finally got some interaction, guys. What? I did kill things earlier. Look at us. I like to think of this deck as an alternate reality where the Nazgul succeeded in turning Frodo and he becomes a wraith in the service of Sauron. Sort of a downer, but it is a blast of a deck to play. And through the many failures of my opponents, I actually got there in the end. What do you think of the game? Let me know down in the comments. Also remember to like this video and comment down below the commander you're most excited to play and you can enter to win the Lord of the Rings bundle. As always, we couldn't do this without our patrons, especially our king patrons, Worthy Glover and Jordan Ritchie, you both rule. Shout out to LDAP, Morton Christensen, and Chris Crowley as our samurais. You are the pillars of our kingdom. With that, remember, Chebhad Nudri.